Hey, what's up YouTube? Back again with another extreme do-it-yourself tutorial. Uh, today my washing machine uh, took a crap on me and we have to fix it so the wife can do all the laundry. So, so the problem that we're having is it's not draining properly. Um, it's washing fine, you know, it's agitating fine. When it gets to where the washing machine needs to drain the water, it's just not working. And you hear a humming, and then it actually gets thrown into an error mode, and it just starts beeping. And I was able to actually look up the code with the certain lights that are lit up, and it's a code for basically the pump is malfunctioning. So I threw it in diagnostic mode, and I turned the pump on, and all I get is a humming. So instead of taking the water out, it's just me. And that tells me that there's probably something stuck uh, inside the pump that's causing the pump not to spin around and do its job and, and pump the water out. So, you know, all kinds of stuff can get in there. Hair can get lodged around the pump. Um, you know, I, one time, a few years ago, when I did this before, this is the second time I've done this. It's so fun. I, I love doing this. It's, it's great. The first time a bobby pin was stuck in there and it actually burned out my motor and I had to completely replace the motor. So hopefully that didn't happen again because I will be one upset hombre if that's the case. So um, we're going to get in there do some diagnostics, see what is inside the pump, what is causing the problem and hopefully we'll be able to get that out of there, get it going again. So here we go. First thing you're going to want to do is obviously take all the clothes out of the washer. Second thing you're going to want to do is drain all of the water that you possibly can. Um, you can use cups if you need to. If you have a wet dry vac, you could use that as well. Okay, now we're going to tip this backward. And I always rest on a paint can. That seems to be the perfect height. This is your pump right here. And the first thing we're gonna do is disconnect our electrical connector. And we have another one for the green wire right there. Okay, now we are going to basically twist this counterclockwise. There is this little clip right here that has to be pulled back as you twist it and be ready for water to, to come pouring out. There it is. Oh, there comes the water. So uh, be more prepared than I was. Have a towel and some kind of a catch basin to catch the water that is inevitably going to be coming out of here. You might not want to let it uh, run through your electrical connectors like that either. I'm going to have to go back and spray those with uh, some uh, electrical cleaner before I put it back together. So before you turn that the first time, you should probably tuck your wires up and out of the way like that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this out now and see what we got here. Oh, yep. And that is the reason the pump was not turning, pumping water out, and that's what can happen over time. So we'll clean that out reinstall everything and see if it works now. All right, I'm using this little pick tool to get in here and really remove a lot of this nasty gunk. That's what I pulled out so far, and I'm not done yet. I think that's 
totally free and clear now. Nothing left. And it spins freely, so I don't think I damaged the motor. Let's hope I didn't. So we're just gonna put this back exactly the way we took it out and then uh, go through a diagnostic mode to see if it works. Okay, we got some electrical cleaner here that we're just gonna spray. Spray right in our connectors. And that'll clean out any nastiness from the water that got in there. And while we're at it, we should hit the pumps connectors as well. All right, we got it plugged into the wall outlet now. We're gonna fire it up in diagnostic mode. All right, and now we're going to put a little water in there. You might want to give a little listen after you shut it off to make sure you don't have any water leaking. Okay, now we're going to turn the pump on in diagnostic mode. And on my model, you do that by pressing the regular button and see what happens. Hopefully we don't have the humming. Hopefully we actually hear the pump pumping the water out. And we have success. So there you have it guys. We were successful once again and hopefully um, if you're watching this and you had to do similar things, hopefully you were successful as well. I hope you guys like my videos, guys. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm going to try to continue to pump these out. Come on back for the next one, guys. And we'll see you back on the next DIY project. Thanks.